Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a book haul for you. First of all, sorry if I sound a little off. I am recovering from a cold, and it's at the tail end, so I'm still a little bit stuffy, so if I sound weird, that's why. But I have a book haul. I have a ton of romances I've gotten recently. I went to a Half Price Books Warehouse sale. Some authors have sent me stuff, some book boxes. I've bought a lot, so I will get to the books I've required recently. But before I get started, I'd like to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is my absolute favorite, Anna Luisa Jewelry. If you've been following me for a while, you know I absolutely love Anna Luisa. I've been working with them for over a year now. They are one of my favorite companies to work with. I'm obsessed with their jewelry. I literally wear their earrings every day. I've gotten my sister and my mom obsessed and with Mother's Day coming up they are the perfect gift to gift a mom or a mother figure in your life. I know that my mom always asks for Anna Luisa jewelry for anything from Christmas to Mother's Day and so I picked out a couple pieces including a gift and I want to show them to you because I am obsessed with Anna Luisa's earrings. I always end up getting earrings when I get anything from them. I do have their necklaces, but I definitely wear earrings every day. I love changing them up, and I have the cutest earrings to show you today, and I cannot wait to show them off because I am obsessed. So if you see, I do have a star earring in, which I think is the absolute cutest. I'm obsessed. I love their hoops and dangly earrings, and so I have a star here. I also have a stud in the second hole, and these two are my new pieces from Anna Luisa. I'm just obsessed with the dangly star. I do have a dangly lightning bolt from them too, and a couple other dangles, but I think this is my new favorite. I am just absolutely obsessed with both of these, and I'm super excited to wear them all the time and mix and match them with the ones that I already own from Anna Luisa. And the last pair I have are these hoops right here. You can never go wrong with a good hoop from Anna Luisa, so I love these ones as well. It's hard to show with them laying like this. These ones are super pretty as well. I really like them. They have the gems going up the sides here, and they're just smaller hoops, and I really love these as well. Anna Luisa is the perfect gift for someone in your life or to give something to yourself. I love getting myself Anna Luisa jewelry and treating myself every once in a while, but they are currently having a buy one, get one 40% off sale with just in time for Mother's Day, so I would highly recommend checking them out. Check out their earrings, check out their necklaces, their bracelets, their rings. They have so much jewelry on their website, and they're constantly getting new stuff in, and so they're constantly running sales. They are just one of my favorite brands and I highly recommend checking them out. Check out my link in the description box down below and thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. I have a lot to get to. I'm going to go through all these stacks and we'll see how long this takes. The first book is The Marquest Makes His Move by Diana Quincy. This one is book three in the Clandestine Affair series and this one I believe, okay yeah, so she's a map maker and he is trying to get revenge on her so he dresses up as a footman and she sees that he's a very handsome new footman and um, he's trying to get revenge because he I think he thinks that he was cheated out of his land so they end up falling for each other anyways I really love it when someone like disguises themselves and is hiding a secret and so very excited for this I did pre-order this when Barnes & Noble had their huge pre-order sale a couple months ago and I forgot I pre-ordered it so I showed up and it was a very nice surprise Diana Quincy is one of my favorite historical romance authors so I'm very excited to have this I also got this gorgeous edition from Hello Lovely Box they're doing their monthly trope box and this one is Tutoring the Player by Rebecca Jenshack. This one, I believe, she's tutoring a uh, athlete in college. So it came with a matching bookmark, which is super pretty. And I just love the colors of this and how really gorgeous it is. So check out their book box. I do have a code, Peace15, to save 15% on anything from Hello Lovely. That's where my sweatshirt's from, too. So check out Hello Lovely. Then I was gifted by two of my great friends here on BookTube, Books 2 and 3 in the Campus Tale series by Kiwi Tyler. I absolutely loved Second Semester and I don't remember who sent me which one. This one was sent to me by McKay from Hey It's McKay, and then Tori from Novel Life sent me this one. I love them both dearly. Thank you so much to both of them for gifting these to me. They are new adult romances, but they are very taboo and usually age gaps. I haven't read this one, though, so I don't know what the age gap is. Oh, this one's actually her best friend, and... They're both 20. So I guess this one's not age gap or taboo, but books one and two are, and I love, love this one. It's dad's best friend. So I'm very excited to have these. Then I had to buy The Dragon's Bride by Katie Robert because this is our Ravish by Romance pick for this month, and I am doing a monster romance reading vlog that's coming out. That's already come out, actually. It's coming out on Monday. This video is coming out Wednesday, so it's already out. I've already read this by then. It's very short. The ebook, though, was $5, so I just was like, I'm just gonna get the paperback. So I'm very excited to read this. Pretty new to monster romances, so I don't know what to expect. I also went to Joseph Beth Booksellers in Cincinnati over last weekend and ended up buying Delilah Green Doesn't Care by Ashley Herring Blake. This is a sapphic romance, and that's all I know about it, but I know everyone's been 
absolutely raving about it. it has such good ratings on Goodreads and I really want to read it and so I decided to buy it. I love the cover and the colors and this is a clever and steamy queer romantic comedy about taking chances and accepting love and it sounds really good. So I guess she has to go back to her hometown to take photos for her stepsister's wedding and the other heroine runs a bookstore and is raising her 11 year old daughter. So this sounds super super cute and I'm very excited to read it. Sourcebooks sent me two historical romances that I'm so excited about. So the first one is Up All Night with the Duke by Amy Rose Bennett. First of all, the cover is stunning. It's with a bookshelf in the background, which I absolutely love. And she is a blue stocking. And so she's a finishing school teacher, but she writes gothic romance novels at night. And she wants to open her own college. So she's called upon by a dear friend to help her navigate her first London season. And... The hero is a widowed duke and he needs a wife, someone who will provide an heir and help him manage his spitfire daughter. And society though has dubbed him the dastardly duke, so people think he murdered his wife. I love that trope, I've read a couple like that too and I really like that trope, so I guess they fall in love. Oh my gosh, this sounds so good, I'm super super excited to read this. This comes out in June, but I have an arc of it. And then they also sent me Anna Harrington's new book, A Relentless Rake. I love Anna Harrington and so this one, he's a notorious rake and he's an earl and he is tasked with with finding the men behind in an attempted assassination of the Prime Minister, which leads him to proper schoolmistress Olivia. Didn't that just say this one? She was a school teacher too. Interesting. And she will do anything to protect her brother, and he is linked to a revolutionary group planning to overthrow the monarchy. So I feel like a lot of her books have to deal with, like, political scheming and that sort. So... I'm excited. I love Anna Harrington. Very excited for these two. Thank you to Sourcebooks for sending those to me. And then I went to Jerry Ward's event in Cincinnati last weekend. That's why I was at Joseph Beth. And I got a signed copy of Lover Arisen. This is the newest book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. It did come signed. Uh, the ticket I paid for, paid for the book. And so, very excited for this. I am the three books behind the Black Dagger Brotherhood series now. So, I need to catch up. And then Lassiter's book is next, which I'm very excited for, and that's going to encourage me to actually finish the series. I did end up getting a copy of Book Lovers by Emily Henry from Berkeley Romance, and so this one, I don't even know the plot. I just know uh, that I love Emily Henry, though I didn't love love the, her newest one, but I loved Beach Read. So this one says Nora's life is books, and she's a literary agent, and she agrees to go to Sunshine Falls for the month of August when her sister... Um, begs for her to go on the trip there. It says Nora keeps on bumping into Charlie, a bookish brooding editor from back in the city, and they can't stand each other. Sounds very cute, very bookish. I love the cover. Very excited to read this soon. I was also sent a couple more from publishers, which I'm very, very excited about. So we have Can't Resist Her by Kiana Alexander. Again, another super pretty cover. I love the color scheme and her outfit, like both of their outfits. Like there's, this is just so cute. So this one is a sapphic romance as well. And it says two very determined women in love at odds and risking a lot on a second chance. So it's a second chance romance. And this says Summer is back in Austin, Texas, accepting a new teaching position. And her grandmother's high school is slated to be demolished and she doesn't want her family's legacy to be taken away. So I think someone responsible for demolishing the high school is uh, her love interest. So they had a kiss at their senior year dance and now they're both back in town. So this sounds really cute as well. Another like back in town romance and I'm very excited for this. Then Sourcebooks did end up sending me a copy of the new cover of A Promise of Fire by Amanda Boucher which I actually really really love. I enjoy the mass market it covers but this is now in trade paperback and it's super pretty and I just love how floppy it is and all of the rest are getting their own covers in the series so I just love the pink. This one is a really great kidnapping fantasy romance and they're changed together magically and I just love this. I also have the Hello Lovely Box edition, let me just show you both of them right now, of two books that came in the most recent seasonal box. So we have Welcome to the Dark Side by Gianna Darling which is super pretty. I love everything about this cover. One of my favorite books by Gianna, so I'm very excited to have that. And then we got Savage Lover by Sophie Lark, which is actually my least favorite in the series, but I cannot deny how stunning this cover is. So I love the font, I love the purple, and I'm excited to add this to my Sophie Lark collection because now I have a ton of her books and some of her special editions, which I'm excited for. So I'm super excited about that. Then Valentine PR sent me a book by Susan Stoker, which is an author I've been meaning to get into. This is Searching for Lily, which is book one in the Eagle Point Search and Rescue. So I think it's romantic 
sponge, which I'm actually very excited for. So this says the most dangerous predator on the mountain may not be the legendary Sasquatch. So Ethan is a former Navy SEAL and he's trying to track down Bigfoot, but a paranormal investigator goes missing and Ethan and his team are called in. Lily is actually the camera woman. The producer has ordered her to stick with the people trying to track down the missing person and she has noticed Ethan. So I guess they are both trying to track down someone missing and she's supposed to like record the whole thing. This sounds really cute. I'm excited. I need more romantic suspense in my life. Then the amazing Mila Finelli reached out and asked if she could send me the two books at her duet. We have Mafia Mistress and then we have Mafia Darling. I really, really enjoy this book. I need to get to book two. They're both signed. I'm so excited to have these in my collection. Our heroine is taken to get married to this Mafia son but falls for the dad instead. That's pretty much the premise. It's amazing. I'm excited that I have those. I also was sent a box from Avon celebrating the release of The Viscount Who Loved Me Season 2 Bridgerton, and so I got this copy of The Viscount Who Loved Me. It is their Netflix book club edition, and I'm assuming they're still going to come out with the show cover, but I think that's been delayed a couple months. I'm super excited. I definitely need that one to match my Duke and I book, but I'm excited to have this. Very fun. Fourth copy of this book. I can never have enough. Then I'm really excited for this one. So Forever sent me an arc of Alexis Hall's new book. So this is A Lady for a Duke. This has a trans character and I think they went missing. They're presumed dead. Viola's presumed dead. And she took the opportunity to live as herself. So she was before the closest companion to Justin who was a duke. And only when their families reconnect years after the war does Viola learn how deep the loss truly was of his best friend who was her. He the Duke has retreated very far into grief and Viola barely recognizes her old best friend and so she strives to bring him back to himself and they fall for each other so this sounds so so good I really enjoy Alexis Hall so I have super high hopes for this book and I'm gonna read it soon probably this one actually comes out in May so it's gonna be May 24th and I'm gonna read it soon. I'm excited. Then I have the two books that came in Mystic Box for Carrie and Cole. So I did come with two art prints. It came with two art prints. I never know. I think this is, this is how it goes. I never know how it goes. These two. And then the covers are really gorgeous. So No Tomorrow is my favorite. This one is so pretty. I know oh it's shiny. Actually music notes on the end. This one's super long and super hyped. I think he's a musician but he's homeless and they meet like years later or something. I'm really excited to read this one. And then we have Torn by Carrie and Cole which I was not the biggest fan of but I'm excited to add this to my Carrie and Cole collection because I do love Carrie and Cole and I think this uh, the cover is gorgeous. And this one is a dad's best friend romance. So very excited for these too. Then I was sent Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins from the publisher. I believe this one's a thriller and this one is on an island with six visitors. Interesting when I'm in the mood for a thriller I will pick this up. I also from A.L. Jackson was sent this gorgeous gorgeous book. I just this cover is so pretty. It is Say It's Forever and it's a Redemption Hills romance and so this one says that he found her stranded in the rain, and it is a forced proximity, single parent, standalone romance about a woman on the run and a man who will do anything to save her. So, very excited for this one. I just love that cover. I know she has, like, discreet covers, but this one is super pretty. I'm pretty sure she did. But then I was also sent Fearless by Tia Louise. This one the author sent to me, and it is about a woman who I think needs protecting, and so he is supposed to guard her. Yeah, he's hired to guard her against a gang of criminals who want her money. Oh, he ruined her life at 16. Her best friend turned up dead and her uncle goes missing and I think he like abandoned her so I think there's some suspense in here and I'm excited to try out a new author. Then I was gifted this from Tiffany and I love Tiffany from Tiff's Talks Pages or Neverland Picks on Instagram. She gifted me The Spy by Sophie Lark which completes my Sophie Lark collection so thank you so much to Tiffany for giving this to me. I'm very excited to have it. This one is book four I believe in the Kingmaker series so I'm excited to have them all and now I can read them all. I'm close to being able to read the rest of that series. I was also sent A Brush With Love by Maisie Eddings from the publisher. I'm very, very excited to read this one. I think they're two dental students who fall in love and it's a laugh out loud romance. I've heard nothing about good things, so I'm excited to read this. Then I ended up buying a copy of The Enigma by Jodie Ellen Malpiss. Tori and Sam both read The Brit when I read it and we all loved it and one of them saw that this one was super cheap on Amazon, so I was like, oh, of course I gotta buy this. So this is book two after The Brit. I really love The Brit, their mafia romances, so I'm excited to have this one. It's chunky, but hopefully The Brit goes on sale too because I really want that book as well. Then I was sent The Sweet Spot by Trish Dollar. I don't know if this is gonna be as 
emotional as the float plan was because the float plan was very very emotional and more women's fiction so this one says Rachel's life is her job at a Miami Beach luxury hotel oh until she's fired so then she's a single mom and she needs stability so she gets a position at a brewery hotel on a tiny island in Lake Erie and she's offered the job and a handsome reclusive man is running the hotel so this sounds cute I think I'll like this one. I'm excited now. I didn't know what it was about, but now I'm like, hmm, maybe I will read this soon. It's that time of year now where anytime I film on the weekend, my neighbors are going to be mowing their lawn. So, hopefully you can't hear that. But then I was sent from Tish from The Book Thief. I had her on for my Gianna Darling interview. I love Tish so much. She gifted me Ghost by A. Zavarelli. This is book three in the Boston Underworld series. I love books one and two. I'm super, super excited for this one. I think he's the hacker, so he codes. I'm very excited for this one. I also ordered two books from JT Geisinger. She had her signed books open, and so I got Ruthless Creatures in the special edition cover, and then because shipping was expensive, and it was the same no matter how many books you bought, I bought two to kind of offset the shipping, and I got Carnal Urges, which I absolutely loved. One of my favorites of the year so far. Mafia Romance is amazing. I love the special edition cover. I love this book too, so I had to get both of them, and now I have them for my shelves, and I'm very excited. Notice I've got and a lot of mafia romances lately. I also was sent Always Been You and Hardback by QB Tyler. I love QB Tyler so much so she gifted this to me and I'm excited to have it. I did buy the paperback myself from Amazon so now I have the special edition and this one is a step sibling romance. Very taboo but I really enjoyed it. As soon as Sarah from Romantically Swept Away talked about these books I ran on to Amazon and Target to get the special editions of book one and two of Bridgerton. I don't remember which one's from which. I think but this one might be from Target? I don't remember, but it's the Duke and I and the Viking who loved me, the special edition hardbacks. One was exclusive to Target, one was exclusive to Walmart. Of course I had to buy them, and I bought a couple other books on top of these to make free shipping. So I ordered these two, had to have them for my collection. Like I said, it's like my fifth copy of the Viking who loved me, but that's fine. I also ordered Falls Boys by Penelope Douglas from Amazon. I had to have this. This one's Penelope's newest release, and I'm excited to add it to my shelves. I am going to book Bonanza now. I ended up buying a ticket kind of impulsively, and I'm going going with Tori from Novel Life and Penelope Douglas is going to be there. I can't wait to see them and get this signed, but this is the spinoff of the Fall Away series and I have a really hard time trying to explain the plot of this, so I'm not going to, but I love it. Then I was sent a copy of Beauty and the Baller by Ilsa Mad Mills. This one came out March 29th and it is about a NFL quarterback turned small town coach who gets sacked by a Texas beauty queen in this swoony passionate romance. So that sounds cute. I love a good small town romance, so I'm excited to read this. In my Target order, I believe, I also ended up getting Indigo Ridge by Devney Perry. I just know this is a small town with a little bit of romantic suspense thrown in. I have been hit or miss with Devney Perry, and I've been wanting to read this series, though, because it seems to be people's favorites. So I hope I like this one. Then Sophie Lark did send me The Savage on release day. I'm so excited for this book. The cover is probably one of my favorites in the Kingmaker series. So this one, I believe, is book five, and I have one book left in Brutal Birthright, and then I can read the rest of the four in this series, and I'm just so excited. These are like mafia kids go to college for mafia people, so I love it. Then Cheyenne from That Tall Book Girl gifted me this book right here. It's pretty chunky and I've never heard of it, so it's Dancing with Sin by Alexandria Lee. I'm pretty sure this is a love triangle. It says it's forbidden, and I think she asked me how I felt about cheating, and I I don't mind cheating in books, so I'm really excited for this. Ch Cheyenne said it's one of her favorites, so I'm very excited. So this says that she's a good person who is about to do a very bad thing. She's a professional dancer, and she had the perfect boyfriend, perfect job, but that didn't last, and it says one night tears everything down, and she loses her job. She has to move to Chicago to move in with her sister, and oh it's her sister's fiance i love those kinds of books so i'm really excited for this so those were all of the indie or other romances i got but these are now all historicals so i did get some gifts from people i ordered from thrift books and i went to a huge sale so we're gonna go through these a follower on instagram reached out and asked if i wanted these two so they sent me victoria alexander's believe with this really pretty step back and then uh, karen hawkins in off her officer and gentleman which i'm really excited for which has this step back. 
All right, then I was sent all of these. So Cheryl, a follower on Instagram as well, sent me a copy of Julia Quinn's To Catch an Heiress. They found this, I think like two copies for 50 cents. And I was like, that is crazy. So they offered to send me one. So thank you so much to Cheryl for sending this to me. It has this really, really pretty setback. So I'm excited to add this to my Julia Quinn collection because I did not previously have this. So I'm super, super excited to have this book. Then I have a bunch I bought because of uh, Instagram. So I follow the Coverless Friday, Setback Saturday. So I got Bitter Eden by Sharon Salvo, Salvato. It's got a ship on the cover. I'm gonna buy it. We also, speaking of ships, have To Love a Rogue by Valerie Sherwood, which is a, I think a pirate historical. Ooh, he's a renegade gun runner and they sailed the stormy seas. This is, this just, it just looks amazing. So I had to have it. I also had to buy this because of Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life. She read Sky O'Malley by Bertrand Small and it sounded like the craziest time and I love crazy bonkers historical romances so I'm very excited to read this I had to get the original copy from like 1980 I also got this because of Instagram it's Highland Sunset by Joan Wolf look how gorgeous those pinks are then I got another Sylvie Summerfield which I'm trying to collect hers this is Betray Not My Passion very very pretty I love these and they just always look so pretty on the back too they need to make historicals like this of course Pirates. I got a Pirate's Angel by Marsha Bauer, which is super pretty. My friend Genevieve from the Bookshelf Gremlin sent me a whole stack of books because Teresa Medeiros is our author in for Historical Hellions later in the year, and I didn't have the book, and she's like, I have a bunch of extras. Do you want any? So she sent me all of these. So we have Yours Until Dawn, A Kiss to Remember, Shadows and Lace, which has this step back, which is medieval, which is really exciting. I need to read more medieval romances. A Whisper of Roses, which I think this one is the one that is our book club pick. Lady of Conquest, The Bride and the Beast, and then she did send me Pirate Bride. She knows how much I love pirate romances. So she sent this from Elizabeth August, which I'm very excited for. And then she also sent The Gamble by Laverel Spencer. All right, and now we just have this last bag. So I went to this clearance sale at Half Race Books in Westchester, Ohio. I live in Columbus, but I was going down to the JR Award event and stopped by because they were having it. And every book was 50 cents I bought. So I spent like $17 because I got two movies, which were $2 each for my classroom and all these books. So they didn't have the best selection. Collection, so I was kind of disappointed so I pretty much grabbed anything I was interested in and was like if I don't want it I can just like gift it it's 50 cents so I got The Rake by Mary Jo Putney I heard this actually deals with an alcoholic hero which is very interesting and Chels from Chels ebooks on TikTok has talked about it I remember that specifically so I definitely wanted to buy it we have Captive Passions by Fern Michaels which I really only bought because it's Fern Michaels in an old school they didn't have a lot of old school historicals and if it has captive in the title, I want to read it. I don't remember if I have this copy of Lion's Lady because it's shiny, so I had to buy this. And I'm also pretty sure I did not have the shiny copy of this one either, Rebellious Desire by Julie Garwood. So I bought them. If I have them, it's fine. I'll pass them along. But I couldn't pass up the chance of getting the shiny editions because it's so hard to tell online when you're buying it if it's shiny or not, and I want the shiny ones. Then I was really excited to find The Ray Hell of Roth by Amelie Howard. I have been seeing a lot of good things about this. I recently got the audio from my library. So they have this for 50 cents and is relatively new it came out only like last year 2021 yeah so they had a new one 50 cents so I had to get this one they also had forever my duke by Olivia Drake an author that I've been wanting to try and then I don't know if I had this one but it is the Raider by Jude Devereaux and it's really pretty cover I didn't check my app too much because there were all these people online behind me and I was like I don't want to hold people up because I scan my historicals into my app so and it was 50 cents I was like, if I buy a duplicate it's fine we have Lord of my heart by Joe Beverly which is really pretty this one I knew I had but I didn't remember if I had the original with the embossed text so I bought it because there's one in this series that I don't have the embossed version of so it's Night Storm by Catherine Coulter very pretty then I had to get the Hunter by Monica McCarthy which my mom was really excited for I got home and I went to my parents house because I was also spending the night at their house because I had to go to Cleveland with them the next day so I showed my mom everything I bought and she was really excited because she's read Monica McCarthy so I'm excited to have more from Monica McCarthy I have to read more from her it's Highland goodness I found love only once in this cover which took me forever to track down and it was not that cheap so it was like ten dollars maybe but this is the other cover for this book I love this book I own this book in this edition but I picked it up because I was like I gotta I gotta give that to someone who would appreciate it I got this copy of Shanna because I thought it was pretty and Shanna is just a crazy book that I will never forget reading I also got this which is really pretty so it's so bright aflame by Robin Leanne White I have to get that sticker off but 
very pretty. I have Never Surrendered to a Scoundrel. I used to love Lily Dalton, so I was excited to see her book there. We are almost done. I'm gonna hate editing this, but that's okay. All right, last stack. I have The Ruby by Christina Sky, which has, oh, it does, okay, I had to look this up. It has the original receipt from 1992 in here from Walden Books, and there are like eight books on here with the ISBN numbers, so I'm gonna have to look them all up to see what this person bought because I think that's hilarious. This book has never been read. I'm pretty sure I accidentally did that when it was stacked in my my bag. Um, eye patch, step back, I had to buy. So I thought it was so funny that they left the receipt in here from literally 30 years ago. I did find Thief of Hearts, which has. A Step Back by Teresa Medeiros. They had a lot of Teresa Medeiros there. I also ended up getting The Duke by Catherine Coulter because it had a Scottish Step Back. That's why I wanted it. I also found The Hostage Bride by Jane Feather because I just wanted this Step Back because it was pretty. I also found this and I didn't know I didn't own it, which is The Joining by Joanna Lindsay. I guess I never owned this one because I checked in my app for this one and I did not have that. Also The Golden Barbarian by Iris Johansson. Yeah, I just really like that step back as well. That's why I bought that one. Then we have A Scott to the Heart by Caroline Linden. Scottish Romance, of course, I was gonna buy it. We have Dark Champion by Joe Beverly. I guess I got a couple Joe Beverly's. I also got The Perfect Mistress by Batita, Batita, Batina Cran with that. And then we have Lord of Wicked Temptation with that step back, which I don't think I own this one. So I was really excited. Like I said, I was like grabbing books and throwing them in my bag because I got there right when they opened, but then it came much more crowded after like 30 minutes. So those are all the books I got. Let me know if you've read any of these or what you're excited that I received. And make sure you check out Anna Luisa. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out all of their jewelry, their amazing earrings as a perfect gift for a loved one, for yourself, for your mother for Mother's Day. Buy one, get one 40% off. Go check out their sale. But that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.